Hey guys, this is Fiend 91 and just some advice here. Now, I am usually for objectives over kills. It is true, objectives in League of Legends are way more important than kills. But at a certain point, now, what do I mean by that? Okay, well, I was playing in this game with a Scion who actually did the Scion, this, this particular Scion strat very well. What this Scion did was basically didn't care about getting killed, went for the tower, you know, died and then used, I guess, Berserk Scion to take more of the tower. And this Scion took out towers, inhibs, like he was on fire. Okay, right. But we still pulled it out in the end. Yes, it was like almost a 50 minute game, but still. We pulled it out. Now, how did that happen? Okay, while objectives are way more important than kills, way more, I'm not gonna lie. I've been in games where the other team may have like double the amount of kills we have, but we actually are able to beat them because we like maybe focus on objectives or just sometimes outlasted them. But in any case, the objectives are still are way more important than kills. But at a certain point, it's hard to overcome such a kill death ratio. The Scion in this game gave us 18 kills with this very risky strategy. So what did we do? In the end, by God's blessing, because we could have easily lost that too, but we basically just waited them out. Like we were way ahead of them kill wise. Two of our teammates had 21 kills, okay? Our mid and our ADC. So when it came to team fights, we were gonna kill them. So to summarize, objectives are way more important than kills, but you have to figure out the balance. You gotta ask yourself, is this high risk strategy worth it when I'm gonna give the other team so many kills and so much gold that at the end, when it comes to team fights, we're gonna be pulmerized. So that's what you gotta ask yourself. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.